Moving further aft, what the... Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back with Stormworks and we are joined by Rare Berserker. It has been such a long time since we were joined by him, but with the new multiplayer update, we can now play with him because of pretty much lag removal. And also, we are going to be checking out the Georgian Flyer. We built this ship a little while back and we're going to finally be giving a tour that it deserves. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. So it's not just because of the um, multiplayer update, but it's also because the new computer finally showed up and I'm, that's what I'm using today. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get the ship out to sea. Now, starting up here we have the chart room slash navigation room. Everything's jittering around so it's going to be a bit difficult for me to try and um, talk this through, but it's basic. Um, I wasn't sure what else to put in here, but either way, moving on to the, from there to the main bridge, you have... Oh my gosh, okay, I just got flung around like crazy. Um, yeah, we have the main bridge here, which has two control panels on either side, and there's two gauges on them. One is for the fuel level, which if you see here, will is currently working. And then it's got buttons for all sorts of things, heating, monitors, lights. On the other side, you've got a battery level. And the indicator lights are for if you run out of either battery or fuel. Yeah, there's the monitors, which are currently lagging me like crazy. Yes, and uh, we have deck lights. Now, let me turn, go to night and turn all the lights off. No, excuse me, on. There's spotlight. My God. There we go, that's more chill. We have a weather station sort of thing here. Yeah. And I'm going here we have the um, surveillance room slash diagram room. This is where you can check the ship for damage and whatnot. And there's four monitors which work. Jesse, if you'd, care to de if you'd like to demonstrate, you can. Yeah, right here we have the uh, different monitors. Um, so yeah, they all work accordingly. And here is the cargo hold controls. Which if you uh, go into photo mode, you can see the uh, cargo holds opening and closing real quick. Yep, there's one, two, three, and four, and they all close in succession. So you want to go ahead and close those? Boom, boom, yeah. boom, and boom. There we go. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. Yeah, I just missed something. The indicator lights are no longer going on, are no longer turning off, to, or excuse me, they're no longer going off to indicate the things are open. Oh well. So moving down, we have the radio room. Now this is a radio that we've used for quite a while, which is, and it's one that has been used on quite a few ships actually. And going for, from there, we have the radio operator's cabin. And uh, moving forward from there, we have two survival gear lockers, which have heat, optic clothing, firefighting gear, diving gear, you name it. Then from there, we actually have the, a crew lounge slash crane control area. Now, if you want to go into photo mode for this, you can. I'm actually going to go outside so you can do this. Alright, if I can just remember how to turn the thing on. This is what I get for not being able to use the crane for, like, ever. Get the camera's on. Now, the widget is... Oh, dear God. I need to put a stool for this thing. So, here is... The, oh, my God. I keep jittering all over the place. It's driving me nuts. So you've got this, you got, oh god, what the? Did you just fall to the floor? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get, oh my god, I can't even move. Help me! Well, Help me. I guess I'll be taking over the tour from now. As you can see, this is a crane. Um, I'm, I, I'm not doing, dealing with this again. This is the, so you can winch left and right, you've got infrared. Um, so there you go, you can see that, and the best part of it is it moves forwards and backwards, can lower down and pick up cargo. Now speaking of cargo, we're going to head down towards that direction. Here uh -huh. comes the Hi. railroad! Oh, the crane moves, I should mention. Oh yeah, I know the crane moves, I was just showcasing that. We have the engine room escape hatch, we'll be going down that for a little bit, but uh, this is the galley, oh, and then back here we have the dining room. And there you have the kitchen. By the way, I'd recommend closing this, just saying. Um, now, as you can see by all the grates in the floor here, those are for bilge and ballast pumps. Those are meant to pump the ship out. By the way, the sink works, but... Oh, how, oh how does that work? 
there's a water intake in the bottom of the ship. Ah. But here we have the kitchen, we have the dry goods, the fridge, and the freezer. There we go, we I... have a preserved Jesse Gillette for uh, display later. All right, now, the Scotland oh, Road of the ship, oh. I should say. This goes down through each uh, each bulkhead or each uh, cargo compartment. We have entrance hold to number two, or number four, I mean, number three. And through here we have number two. And you can see they're all there. And the light switches are just below them as well. Now, going into here, we have a more open section of cargo hold. You missed the crew passage lights there. Oh, oh yeah, sorry about that. I think there's a secret cargo in this first uh, container that you need to look at, by the way. Ah, yes, I will take a look at that right now. Oh, boy, it's a Spamos logo. It's the only Easter egg on this entire ship. So, here is the forward machine shop slash gear room slash um, anchor room. And as you can see, there's, um, you got acetylene torch tank, uh, welding tanks here. You've got tool lockers. And you've got a hatch that goes up, but we won't get into that for now. Because we still have a whole other lower deck to go to. Let's go. Down the stairs, open the door, into the room. Now, where are the lights down here? Engine room. Ah. But I think we need to stop all going back. So yeah, that's a good idea. For more reasons than one. Medical storage room here. And as you can see, there's plenty of medical details and shelving for all your needs. Now, if here we have the crew cabins. There's four crew cabins. Yep, there are all the cabins. And if we take a turn, we have the sick bay. I'm pretty sure it's recognizable to a few people who have been able to see the HMHS Spamels because I basically salvaged this uh, detailing here and installed it where the cabins would have been on that version of the ship to make two uh, surgery rooms that can hold six patients each. Moving further aft, what the... Well, it looks like there's a... Oh. Well, be honest with me. Sorry, what, sir? To engage the scuttle. Oh, I have no idea about any scuttle whatsoever. That's not... That, 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 no, just no. Dang it! I keep being shot back. Anyway, you would have the fuel tank room and then the engine room, which I'm going to now flood at this point because I was wanting to start taking. Anyway, uh, coming down into the engine room, which you might have to access via the escape hatch. Oh, God, there's time. water on the floor. I hope you know that. Oh, my gosh! Yeah, it's fine. It's a feature. But yeah, we have the engine room here, and we now have the escape hatch, which I recommend us use at this time. Yeah, let's get out of here. Ah, up into the fresh open air. You know, there's a nice little lifeboat back here. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to get on this lifeboat, and I'm going to... Hold on! Hold no, on! No, no, no! Stop the ship, quick! Stop, please, for the love of God, I need to get back on the sinking ship. I want to say to a man who tries to jump off a ship when it's not sinking and then jumps back on when it is. Um, here's the thing. The lifeboat is at the bottom of the ocean now, so, uh... You had one... Oh, you have made a basket mistake. Ah, I have returned to the Georgian Flyer, where the nameplate is slowly going under the water. I'm going to just seal these doors going outside at this point because I found out something while sinking it. You can actually get it to completely sink with just that one hatchway open. Just this, with, If you open just the escape hatch, the whole ship sinks. I kid you not. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of water just kind of blasting through the, uh, the camera's view here. I would uh, also, by the way, um, I would also come down to the engine room at this point because it's now a it's just new uh, swimming pool. Wait a minute, how deep is it? Not deep enough to swim in, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh God! Oh my gosh! No it one. Sinks quick. Yeah, I should mention it sinks far faster. In the... Why is there the... water coming from the ceiling? Remember that sink feature you put into the smokestack? Yeah. That is. I was still. I was able to. I was still able to utilize it. Also, coming up on deck, which is now rapidly going underwater, you'll Wait, find... Wait, the deck is going underwater? 
slowly. There's waves lapping at it, but you would have had a lifeboat here to escape with. And then forward, you'd have the catwalk going up through the crane and on the side of the cargo hold, which would take you to the bow. Um, I think there's an issue with the ship. What is it? Is it spazzing out? No, we're sinking. Uh, I get Sherlock, I'm aware of this. I've been aware of this. Actually. Yeah, there's water lapping over the stern part of the ship. Um, oh, oh, the escape hatch is not having a good time. Oh, God. By the way, come into the escape hatch real quick. I want you to see something. Look how quickly it takes. This room fills up. Oh, God. And it also gives a demonstration of how uh, fast the pump works, too, I should mention. Oh, yes. You should talk about the pump system on board. Yeah, but... Now, pumps are automatically enabled, and this will give a quick demonstration of uh, how to uh, utilize them. He says as he's waiting for the room to completely fill with water. You know what? Let me just do this to where it floods from the up. Hi, good luck, Railroad. Get up to the bridge. I need to, to show you something. Oh, we're listing. Um, the ship is sinking Ile de France style. Well, looks like it's the end for the Georgian Flyer. The water is all shifting forward at this stage inside the ship, I'd guess. Just uh, adding to the continuous flooding, and the stern is rapidly coming out of the water now. Um, I guess this is it. It's been good knowing you. Oh my gosh, you're still on the ship. Let's see if the pump can save it, actually. The pumps are not going to save the ship. Hey, what if I just do this? Donovan, I assure you, the pumps will not save the ship. You can, you can keep hoping, but it's gone. Oh boy, there it goes. Your pump system ain't gonna help. There he goes. He has escaped. I blame you for this. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.